the first day on the monster roof, didn't they? It was difficult. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Sid said, come to Wales for the day. I was expecting rock, <laughs> seaside, and fun fair. I wasn't expecting the mother of all roofs. I parked up over there and I thought, I don't look too bad, but it was dark. And as it started to get lighter and lighter, I thought, there's more moss growing on that as it gets lighter. Have you seen the back? I've seen it on your video, but I've not walked, obviously oh, I just stayed in the back. I didn't want to walk around in case. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll right, good, good morning, up. everybody. Surprise, surprise, I am back. Where am I? If you watched my last video, you'll know where I am today. Um, let me show you. I have returned. Prodigal Sun has returned to the mossiest roof ever with a little stream running through. So this is the job for today. So I've booked here for two days. Um, so I'm hoping we can get all this done. So today's goal is to get all of the back done. Kev is up on the tower there. The customer has uh, kindly let us use this tower. Appreciative that he had one. Saves me in hiring, hiring one in. Um, I'll show you the front really quickly. I think you will have all seen it from the uh, last video, but the front's not too bad. It's mainly that back that's the issue. I mean, there's, there's still a hell of a lot of moss on it, but compared to the back, it's like a no contest. Um, you may notice there's a familiar van over here. Let's go and have a look who this is. Hello. You all right, how are you? Yeah, good, you? Very well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, around the back of this van, we've got Lee from Old School Winter Cleaners, channel favorite, how are you doing? of the channel. Ready, uh, ready for a good day, hard day's graft. Yeah, looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, he's kind of came and helped me out on this job because um, it was a bit much for me and Kev on our own in the time frame. So it just gets more expensive when we have to um, book multiple, multiple hotel days. And I don't want to have to, because it's obviously a journey, I don't want to be overpricing a job just to have to pay for hotel costs if I don't have to. So Lee's come down to help. So two days, we're hoping to get this done. If it does go over, I'll stay for an extra day. Um, and book an extra night just to get it done safe coming back another time but yeah so now on reflection this moss on here this lower roof comes off really easy and um, there's nothing really to it however i've been up and i've had a, a quick look at the top and it's very tough moss really really tough moss so we're just going to do the best we can scrub it the best we can and uh yeah we're just going to work in stages just thinking oh, i'll have one guy there one guy there and work our way in but I feel like you just get tired quicker when you're sort of on your own all day. So I feel like if we smash out a section, so we start there, then go here, then go there, and then we're all attacking the same section. But uh, yeah, enough of me waffling. I'm sure I'll uh, have more talking points later when we sit down for lunch and have a chat to Lee. But um, yeah, let's get started. Folks, let me just put this job into perspective for you. Um, from what I thought was going to be a nice, easy carpet to clean off like that. Uh, yeah, wrong. Check this out. That's me using full pressure from my hand. What the hell? 
That is crazy. I've never seen anything this tough before. So um, we're basically just going to aim to get the ball calf so from spot a little bit better than that. And then just let the treatment do the rest of the work. We're never going to get a perfect finish on this. We'd be here for two years. But uh, yeah, right, carry on.
Okay, so I don't know how well you guys can see me. It's honestly the colour of this room looks like I'm in some sort of drug den, saw film type thing. Um, but day one is done, so I predicted for this day to get the back done. Uh, tomorrow we'll start the front, and then while I'm soft washing the back, the boys will be cracking on around the front. Um, didn't go exactly as planned, as you probably saw from the uh, clips, hopefully, that I put in the video. Um, the moss was crazy. I've never, ever experienced moss that is that stuck onto a tile before, so. Um, it went a bit slower than expected and I was thinking, man, are we going to be, is this going to happen again? Like how I predicted before, um, the last time I was here, like it's a cursed job or something. Um, it just runs over schedule every time, but I think we might just make it tomorrow. Uh, we worked really hard today. I'm really proud of uh, Kev and Lee. They worked really hard. Um, so we're all exhausted. I've just steamed the hell out of myself in a really hot bath. We went up some food, we've got some beers, I've got everyone in their own room, so I've, you know, we've all got a room to ourselves tonight so we can get a good sleep. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far, hopefully I recorded well enough. Um, because of it's the shady part of the roof, which is obviously why it's the worst, um, it's kind of, it can be hard to film because the sun comes right over the top, it doesn't hit that side of the roof, but it literally hits directly into the camera. So there's a few shots that I got and I was like, you, I've just watched some of them back, you cannot see a thing, so I just deleted them, but so there might be a few bits of footage missing um it's just because it's not worth watching if you've just got sunlight blaring in the screen so uh hope that makes sense hope you guys are enjoying um absolutely knackered so i'm going to chill out put the tv on reply to some emails and then head to bed time is currently 8 52 p.m i'll probably be asleep by half nine maybe ten all right nice one guys see you in the morning all right then folks good morning it's a beautiful morning uh, it's a bit chilly, I think it's only like one degree, but look at that there. Nice clouds over there. Lovely colour to the sky and the moon is still out as well. Uh, what is the time actually? My clock, uh, my watch is an hour fast, so it's eight o'clock, <clears throat> which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we're cracking on. Lee's on the scaffold already. I think that's his first time using a tower, so I'll go film in a, him in a minute. So we're just finishing off that last bit of the roof. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, go vacuum system roof scraper thing I've got. Um, with this wire brush on the end. Now they haven't released these yet. I'm uh, just this wire brush thing. I've just been testing these out for them. Um, so I'm just going to go around and do a bit of detailing on the back now um, and sort that out. Um, this is something I thought I'd show actually because a lot of people have got, obviously this is a quick release scraper. So you you lift this thing up, the blade slides out, and that's how you can switch blades really quickly and stuff. However, a lot of people have been worried like, oh, eventually it might fail. Um, you know, and it will it will just drop out. Now, uh, well, perhaps one day it might. I mean, I can't honestly see how it would happen um, if this thing sort of came loose because the blade slots in sideways anyway. Um, but there's this little bolt here, and this is what I keep on all the time. So I guess it kind of defeats the option of a really quick, quick release, but it's still quick. I'll show you what I mean. So I just carry this little tool here, and then if you tighten that all the way, all the way up, um, this won't move at all. However. You just spin it around, loosen it a few times, like so. And you can lift that up. Oh, sorry, man. So you lift that up, and the blade slots out like so. And then when you put it back in, you see the grooves on it. it slots in like so, and then pop that down. And then so then what I do, just to be double extra short, especially when working at uh, quite a height, is I just take this and just tighten that up just in case. Um, you can just leave that sort of half done up and you can slide it in and out whenever you want. However, I'd rather be safe than sorry, just in case. So I'll tighten that up. But as you can see, that was still a million times faster than any other roof scraper out there. So I do enjoy it, especially at the start of a job when you're switching between wire brushes and blades. No one paid me to say that, by the way. I just thought I'd explain. Still testing those wire brushes out and I'm going to give them feedback whether I think anything is changing on them. But um, there's a few issues at the start. So they sent me another set out. Um, you know, an, an improved version, and so far so good. So I will let them know if any issues be. I'll get to work and stop boring everybody.
course, as always, what I'm using, the amazing GK Pro. Absolutely love the stuff. Um, just, just received a new order of another 20 litres specifically for this job and one more after this. Um, I'll probably use, depending on how porous these tiles are, I'll probably use about 15 litres um, on this roof maybe, I think. So it's full up, it's got about eight litres in there at the moment. And I don't know, we'll see. Probably 15, maybe 20 litres for this roof. Maybe a bit more, I'm not sure, but yeah, I've got enough anyway, so. Right then, nice one, get started. All right, I'll try that again. Uh, so it keeps shutting my phone, uh, the GoPro battery off for some reason. Um, so yeah, just got that bit to do, that bit to do by the side, this bottom bit, and then little corner there before we lose the light. Um, so I think we're gonna make it just in time. Uh, it's been a hell of a day again. Apologies for not filming much of this day. I mean, I mainly just tried to film the other side the best anyway, because that was like the worst side. That side wasn't too bad to be honest, just quite easy moss to remove. Let's see how that, this side's getting on. Yeah, drying out nicely, good. I was hoping that would dry out um, before it got dark. It's not completely dry, but um, it's attempting to. We're on it. It's on its way. So a few sort of wet patches remain there. But I mean, what a difference, man. How incredible is that compared to what it was? Um, hopefully I'll put some before video or pictures in there. I am uh, absolutely over the moon with that. It was a touch and go. I was thinking there's no way we're getting this done in the two days. I thought it really was a cursed job, but no, we've done really well there. So as I say, there's still green on it, of course there's gonna be. It's, it was it would literally be impossible unless you pressure wash the hell out of it um, to get to get all that green off. You'd have no hopes. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'll be able to outro this because it's gonna get dark soon. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're nearly done. Um, another hour and we'll be out of here. So I'll try and get it on video if it's light enough, but um, dark any minute now so right then folks take care it's been a journey it's been emotional big shout out to lee from old school winter cleaners his channel is going to be in the description uh and probably the pinned comment as well so everyone please go check out his channel he's been an absolute diamond for helping me out um same for the uh, customer of the bungalow that i did that last time as well he's been helping out all day today and most of yesterday as well helping tidy up and stuff even the customer of this job as well gave us all a 20 pound tip everyone's just been so nice so um over the moon it's been a really fun time hard are we on? Are we still on it? I don't know if we're still on folks. Yep, still on. Uh, hard job, very, very hard job. We're all knackered, but a nice rewarding one and a great challenge. Yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you very soon for a new video. Thank you.